Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Gawain Jones. This is a game from a Tata Steel Chess Tournament, played in the Netherlands in 2018. Magnus Carlsen had white pieces and he started with e4, c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, and now g6, the dragon variation. Bishop to e3, bishop to g7, f3, knight to c6, white to move. The two most played moves in this position are queen to d2 and bishop to c4, preventing d5 by black. Magnus Carlsen played Queen to d2 with a standard plane, castling queenside, pushing h-pawn, opening the h-file, exchanging dark squared bishops, and checkmating black king, basically. Gawain Jones castled kingside and Magnus Carlsen castled queenside. d5, white to move. e takes on d5 is the most played move. Magnus Carlsen played queen to e1. e5. Knight takes on c6, b takes on c6, e takes on d5, and now knight takes on d5. This is the most played move. Bishop to c4, bishop to e6, king to b1, rook to e8. Rook to b8 is kind of a standard move. Rook to e8 was played, knight to e4. The knight will be going to g5 or c5. f5 attacking the knight. And now, knight to g5 attacking the bishop. And if bishop goes to f7, the knight takes bishop. So bishop to c8 was played. If bishop to f7, knight takes on f7. And player with the black pieces would have a problem on light squares. Bishop to c8. It is white move h4 is perhaps the best move in this position. Carlsen played g4. This is a blunder. Can you see why? The knight on g5 is defended by the bishop. So Gawain played f4. h4 now. f takes on e3. And black is a piece up. White has no compensation for a lost piece. Queen takes on e3. h6. Queen to c5. Bishop to b7. If h takes on g5, queen takes on c6. So bishop to b7. Knight to e4. Rook to e6. Perhaps bishop to f8 should have been considered. And after, say, queen to f2, then king to h8 or king to g7, unpinning. Rook to e6, h5, queen to b6. Naturally, Gawain wants to exchange queens and to simplify the game. g5, h takes on g5. If queen takes on c5, the knight takes on c5, forking the rook and the bishop. And now white is probably winning easily. h takes on g5. Again, bishop to f8 should have been considered. h takes on g5 was played. Queen to a3. Rook to b8. And now b3. If h takes on g6, then bishop to f8, and if queen goes, say, to d3, then bishop to a6 is unpleasant. So we have b3, taking the care of the king. Queen to d8, queen takes on a7, g takes on h5, rook takes on h5, rook to g6, rook takes on g5, rook takes on g5, Knight takes on g5, black to move. Queen to c8 was played. 
If queen takes on g5, then queen takes rook check, and after bishop to f8, queen takes bishop on b7. So Gawain played queen to c8. Rook to g1, lining the rook with the black king. And white is better. Black has many holes in the position. Rook to a8, queen to b6, frustrating the knight, which can't move. Rook to a6, this is kind of a small trick. Queen to c5, if bishop takes on a6, knight takes on b6. So we have queen to c5, queen to d7, knight to e4, threatening knight to f6 check winning the queen. King to h8, but is the king really safe on the h file? Bishop takes rook is possible now, but Magnus Carlsen played queen to f2, intending queen to h4, preventing queen to h4, and now Carlsen takes the rook. Bishop takes on a6, queen to h2 check, king to g8, queen to h6, queen to a7, attacking the rook, on g1, queen to e6 check, king to f8, rook to g5, knight to e3, queen to d6 check, king to f7, knight to c5, black to move, bishop to c8, controlling e6 square, white play the move and black resign, and the move is, rook takes on g7, Gawain resign in view of this continuation, king takes on g7, queen takes on e5 check, king to g6, queen takes knight, and now white is three pawns up, and black king is still very exposed. This is a game that will be remembered by Gawain for a long time. He felt at one stage that he had a win in his hand. Against someone else, he would probably win. And what about Magnus Carlsen? Well, I remember games of Mikhail Tal, when he made unsound sacrifices, and then he complicated the game and won. In this game, Carlsen blundered, then he complicated the position and won brilliantly. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.